I never thought I'd see the day where I would transition from being an influencer to being a full out entrepreneur, but baby, let me tell you, it's here. Now let's get into it. Hey friend, and welcome to Perfect Periods, the place where we discuss how to navigate different periods of life while perfecting our actual period. What, like it's hard? I'm your host, fertility awareness educator, Barry on Barry, but you can call me Barry. Here, you'll be educated, equipped, and empowered with all the tools, knowledge, and resources you need to master your cycle so you can master your life. Now grab your favorite beverage and maybe a notebook and let's dive right on in. Hello, my love. Can I be honest with you? This is a bittersweet episode because it is really the end of an era, but the beginning of a new one. And it's, it's kind of incredible, not going to lie, but it's also just like mm, teardrop. So today we're going to talk about the end of my influencer era and the beginning of my entrepreneur era. However, before we jump into that, I want to remind you that pre-orders are currently open for the weekly and daily notepads. So if you are a modern woman who's been really like connecting with the way that I teach people how to increase productivity using their cycle, you will want one of these resources. And I'm not going to sit here and talk about them a really long time, maybe in a different episode. Um, but I just want to let you know, pre-orders are open. What that means is you can basically reserve your notepads right now and then they will officially ship out on or before June 1st, which I'm really excited about because anybody who pre-orders, so the first, I believe, 25 pre-orders are actually going to come with complimentary Semaine products. So you will receive your pre and probiotic from Semaine as well as the PMS and period support supplement for the first 25 pre-orders, which is so freaking exciting. Like, ah, I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. But with that being said, you know, I feel like having a physical product has really been more of the reason why this transition has been so apparent. Um, and so with that being said, let's just get into it. Okay. So in in 2022, I really noticed that my business couldn't function unless I was present, whether I be present on Instagram or elsewhere, TikTok, podcasts, wherever. And, you know, that presented a lot of problems for me. One, just feeling exhausted from trying to keep up with all the algorithm changes to exhausted from constantly having to create content and show up and it's just it was just exhausting you know another problem that I was presented was the fact that it's just not that scalable and when I say not scalable I know there's a lot of influencers who have these big teams and different things like that that's that just wasn't me I did have a team uh in 2020 and 2021 but I just didn't really love having a team like that, um, at least in that capacity. And so, yeah, I just was like, if I'm not present in my business, am I still actually like generating revenue? Is there a profit if I'm not showing up? You know, what if one of the brands I like decides that they're no longer going to rec or make a certain supplement? How is that negatively going to impact my bottom line? Because it would things like that, right? But another issue I ran into was the fact that I felt like everything was about me. And I know it might sound crazy, but I don't love talking about myself. What I love doing is actually solving other people's problems that they have with their cycles and being the person that they trust to help them solve these problems. That's what I love. I don't love saying like, this is my morning routine. Like, look at me. This is the makeup that I'm wearing. That's clean beauty. I don't love that. And no shade if you love that. That's you. We different, boo. Okay. But I just did not like really love that. And so this past month, I would actually argue the last six weeks, I've really been thinking about the difference between an influencer and an entrepreneur and really feeling called step out of 
like influencer berry and into entrepreneur berry. So I'm going to go ahead and share one of the definitions of an influencer. An influencer focuses on building and growing a personal brand and using it to influence others. Whereas an entrepreneur focuses on building and growing a business, right? So an influencer focuses on a personal brand and using that to influence others, whereas an entrepreneur focuses on building and growing a business. Personal brand and business are two things. And yes, you can use your personal brand to build a business, but you have to be really, really intentional about how you do that. And in full transparency, I just wasn't. I wasn't like kind of thinking far out enough. And that's okay because not everybody thinks that far out. But, you know, as I've been sitting and really just kind of like saying, okay, where am I going next? Where is this business going next? I've thought about it as like, no, like you need to kind of step off the influencer brakes or influencer gas, pump the brakes a little bit and go all in on the entrepreneur side of what you're doing. Because when you're 45 years old, you want people to know that you own a company and your company is evolving the way that women are working. When you're 45 years old, you don't really want to be saying like, okay, this is the supplement that I recommend to fix your period problems. Although it, and like no shade, no tea. Y'all know I love my supplements. Y'all know I love to main uh, PMS and period support. I will stand by that probably when I'm 45 and beyond. However, I just had to think about it in this greater scheme of things, right? In a larger view of things. And so, yeah, I am kind of at the end of my influencer era and I'm in my entrepreneur era full-fledged I've been doing my entrepreneur era I would argue for the last I believe 12 days I know that sounds so silly to some of you but there's been three massive changes that have happened in the last 12 days since I have really shot off the influencer and stepped into the entrepreneur the first thing is the effort I don't know if y'all realize this, but it's actually really easy to pick up the camera and like talk to Instagram, right? Like it's actually really, really easy to just say like, hey, what's up? This is what I'm doing. That's like, and I know it's not easy for everyone. It's easy for me because I've been doing it for like five years, right? So for me, it's like very second nature. That doesn't exert a lot of energy, right? That's the influence. However, truly developing a product, looking into, you know, manufacturing, fulfillment, printing, shipping, all of that. That's a lot of brain power that I have not used in I don't know how long. And I'm almost embarrassed to say that, but that's because like being an influencer has been like a flow thing for me for so long. Um, Whereas as an entrepreneur, it's just like a different energy and like showing up just in a very powerful way. Um, And so that's been a thing. Another thing that's been really different as an entrepreneur is the intention. So I think I've always had a lot of intention around most of the things that I've done. However, what I will say is I am so much more strategic and intentional about the physical products that have come out and even redesigning the digital products because now I'm looking at my business as a business and saying, no, this is actually designed to like help women get through each phase of their cycle, but also every phase of their life, right? And so it's no longer just like grab the digital habit tracker. It's like, no, make sure the digital habit tracker and cycle support guide actually breaks things down in a very cohesive manner and actually is like an extension, right, of the physical weekly notepad as well as the physical daily notepad. Make sure those blend really well, not only with the products you already have, but also the ones that are coming. Yes, more products are coming. You bet your bottom dollar. Listen, Q4, just be ready. Q4, I'm going to tell you this right now. Q4, a quarterly box is dropping. Y'all are going to die. A quarterly subscription box is on its way and you're going to love it. But I digress, right? 
So the intention is no longer just educating women about their bodies and empowering them in their body. The intention is to educate you through each phase of your cycle and life. And that's so different. And the final thing that's been massively different over the last 12 days has been the level of execution and the relentlessness behind it. You guys, I could cry at how fast I have executed the notepads. And let me just say this, from idea to design conception to fulfillment, like honestly and truly, to even slight tweaks and adjustments. It has been absolutely unparalleled to anything else I've ever done. On April 17th, I came up with the idea of the weekly notepad. I also designed a daily one and I was kind of like hot and cold about that. On April 19th, the first samples of both of them showed up to me. On April 22nd, I showed them in real life to a lot of people at my live event and I got a lot of great feedback. On April 23rd, I adjusted every single thing based off of the feedback and then I got samples again. As I'm recording this, it is now April 29th and pre-orders are now open to the public. When I say the level of execution has been unmatched, it truly has been. Because now I'm like, this isn't just about this moment. This is about life. Like, this is so good. Okay, this is what we're going to do here. And this is why we're going to do it and how we're going to do it. That has been this level of me. Honestly, I have not seen myself this excited and this hungry. Ooh. Y'all, I don't know the last time, probably, probably 2020 was the last time where I was like this rowdy and like just excited to execute, right? Because now I understand the vision, but also again, the intention. And I guess that's what I want to say. Like this is the transition, right? This is me sharing with you that I'm officially transitioning into entrepreneur mode. And yes, I'm still going to be doing what I do in terms of like recommending products to you and, you know, sharing quick tips. But like, I honestly feel like a completely different person. I have a very different mindset and I'm just so grateful, like so freaking grateful. Now, with that being said, I do want to go ahead and remind you to pre-order your planning pads if you haven't already. And also, in the next episode, I'm going to be introducing you to my co-host, okay? We're going to have a co-host on the podcast pretty much every other month. Um, Actually, she'll be here every six weeks. Um, And I'm really excited. And that's because I really think that the podcast needs some new energy, some fun energy, but also... She's the kind of person who's really good at asking the right questions and she will ask questions that honestly I probably would have never thought to answer and I've noticed like the way that her and her and I interact it really does feel like you're just listening to your girls. Now I do want to say like I've been editing through our first episode together okay it's a little explicit okay so I'm going to go ahead and like let y'all go, but just know we are officially in a new era. And as always, I love you and I will you. Hey friend, if you enjoyed today's episode, can you do me a solid and leave a rating and review? And if you have some friends going through a different period of life where they want a little bit more peace or perhaps they just want a better period, make sure you share this with them because here we're all about having a period and a life, an enjoyable one at that. As always, I'm seeing big love and flowy vibes. Oh, 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 oh